severe weather, violence, sicknesses, death. There seems to be trouble and chaos all around us. And what that leads to is fear and doubts and worry and panic attacks. And despite all this, there is one irrefutable truth in the midst of all this trouble. God is with us. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. In the Bible, we read troubles after troubles affecting individuals. These were not just dramatic stories put in the Bible for our entertainment or for a history lesson. God gave us these examples for two reasons. One, to let us know that troubles will always exist in the world. And number two, that he will always be with us through them all. Jesus said in John chapter 16, verse 33, in this world, you will have trouble. Now, let's look at a few individuals in the Bible that faced struggles or troubles of some kind, and let's see where God was. In the book of Genesis, we find the account of Joseph, where his jealous brothers sold him into slavery. Well, guess what? God was with him. The Lord was with Joseph so that he prospered, and he lived in the house of his Egyptian master. Then, Joseph was falsely accused of a severe crime and thrown into prison. And guess what? God was still with him. But while Joseph was there in the prison, the Lord was with him. He showed him kindness and granted him favor in the eyes of the prison warden. Have you ever experienced pain or betrayal from a loved one, a friend, someone really close to you? Just remember, God is with you. In the book of Exodus, we find the story of Moses, where God calls Moses through the burning bush to go to Egypt and deliver his people Israel from their slavery. Moses protested and had many excuses as to why he couldn't do that, but he eventually did, and guess what? God was with him. And God said, I will be with you. Are you full of excuses as to why you cannot do something for God? Just remember, God will be with you. In the book of Judges, we find the story of Gideon during a time where the nation of Israel was being oppressed by an enemy. God called Gideon to deliver his people from this oppressor. But Gideon was full of fear and many, many questions. But he eventually obeyed God. And guess what? God was with him. The Lord answered him, I will be with you. Do you find yourself riddled with fear when asked to serve God? Just remember, God will be with you. In the books of 1 and 2 Samuel, we find the story of King David. David had many, many troubles from attempts on his life to his undisciplined sons, one of which raped his own half-sister and then was eventually killed. Another led a rebellion against David where David was forced to flee the palace, but eventually this son was killed as well. Even with all this trouble, guess what? God was with him. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Is your life plagued with troubles, be it at work, home, your health, finances? Just remember, God is with you. In the first chapter of Jeremiah, we find the prophet Jeremiah being called by God to preach to the people of Judah. Jeremiah was a young man and had excuses to why he couldn't do this. I don't know how to speak. I am too young. But guess what? God was with him. Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you and will rescue you, declares the Lord. And then further down in chapter 1, they will fight against you, but will not overcome you. For I am with you and will rescue you, declares the Lord. You are never too young or too old to be used by God. But let me ask you this. Is age an excuse you use when declining to obey God's call on your life? Just remember, God will be with you. In the book of Daniel, we find Daniel being a captive in a foreign land. He refused to obey an order that prohibited praying to God, and ultimately he was thrown into the lion's den. But yet again, guess what? God was with him. My God sent his angel, and he shut the mouths of the lions. They have not hurt me. Even though real persecution of Christians hasn't truly began here in the United States yet, are you bullied because of your obedience to Jesus? Just remember, God is with you. So let's look again at what Jesus said in John 16, 33. In this world, you will have trouble. Now, let's finish the verse. But take heart, I have overcome the world. The New King James Version says it like this, But be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. 
And Matthew records this promise from Jesus. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Now, let me share a few recent troubles my wife and I have faced. In December 2016, we bought our first home. In 2017, Hurricane Harvey flooded this home. In fact, overall, we had four floods in the home in five years. Oh, and we weren't in a flood zone. But God was with us and sent others to help us recover each time. In 2020, Hurricane Laura destroyed our home. It was so devastating. But God was with us. Sure, we lost stuff and we never came back to the house. But God provided us places to stay during a year and a half journey until we purchased our second home. And also, none of us were harmed during the hurricane, including all of our children. And speaking of children, in 2015, we found out we can't have kids, and that was a gut punch, but God was with us. In 2018, we began fostering, and after a miracle and two adoptions, all three children call me Papa. Regardless of what struggles, fears, hardships, or troubles you're facing today, or what you might encounter tomorrow, just put your trust and faith in Him. Jesus will always be by our side. And do you know why He's always by your side? Because He loves you. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Again, no matter what you're facing today or what you might face tomorrow, God will always be with you. Don't forget that. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. But until next time, thank you for watching, and as always, God bless.